Now let's look at exponential growth and decay word problems. So the very first thing is let's identify as ex each problem as exponential growth or decay, state the initial value and the growth and decay rate. And this is actually very easy if we think about writing a equation, the function of y is equal to a, 1 plus r to the t. In that case, the r is the growth rate. And if 1 plus r is bigger than 1, it's exponential growth. And if 1 plus r is less than 1, it's exponential decay. And a is the initial value. And t, or x, is simply the number of time periods. So in that case, let's look at some examples. So let's look at y is equal to 12, 1.73, to the t or to the x. In that case, the initial value is 12. It's exponential growth. The reason it's exponential growth is because 1.73 is greater than 1. And the growth rate, in this case, is the difference between 1.73 and 1, that's 0.73, or 73% per time period. And that's all there is to it. If we look at another example, y is equal to 18, 0 0.79 to the x. Initial value, Eighteen. This is exponential decay because this number right here is less than one. And the growth rate, you can actually say this two different ways. You can either say the growth rate is minus 21%, the difference between 1 and 0.79, or you can say a decay rate of 21%. That means the same thing. Let's look at one more problem. Let's y is equal to 197, 2.5 to the t. Initial value, 197. It's exponential growth. The reason it's exponential growth is 2.5 is greater than 1. Now the growth rate, be careful, some students have trouble with this. The growth rate is the difference between 2.5 and 1. So simply go 2.5 minus 1 is equal to 1.5, so that's a growth rate of 1.5, or 150%. Now let's look at an actual word problem. You invest $19,000 in your brother-in-law's business. Your investment decreases by 15% per year. How much money will you have left over in six months? Think about this problem. Let's start with the basic problem. Y is equal to A, 1 plus R to the T. I'm going to move this up a little bit. You start off with $19,000, so that's $19,000. It's 1 plus the growth rate, but the growth rate here is 15%, but it's a negative 15%, so that's 1 minus 0.15 T. So your basic function is 19,000, 0.85 raised to the power of t. This is your function. If you know the time periods, and you can calculate an actual value. Here you'll have in six months, it's a decrease for each month, so that's a six. So it's y is equal to 19,000, 0.85 raised to the power of six. Let's do that on your calculator. That's 0.85 raised to the sixth, that's 0 0.377 roughly. So it's 19,000 times 0 0.337 times 19,000. So you end up with about 7,166 dollars or so. Probably not a good idea to invest with your brother-in-law.
Let's do another problem. The deer population in Pacific Grove is 6,501. Uh, but it's increasing a rate of 17% per year, so how many deer will there be in 11 years? And how many deer will there be in 27 years? The key to make this an exponential growth or decay problem is it's a constant percentage growth, so let's start there. So you have y is equal to a, 1 plus r to the t. You start off with 6,501 deer. The growth rate is 17% per year, so that's 1, point, 1 plus r, which is 1 plus 0.17 to the t. So this is your basic function here. Now, if t is equal to 11, then you have y is equal to 6501, 1.17 raised to the power of 11. It actually might be a fairly large number. Let's see, 1.17 raised to the 11th is going to be about 5.62. It's actually better not to round this, just to leave it in your calculator and multiply by 6501, but I like to write it down just to keep track of where I'm at in the problem. So you end up with approximately 3,600... No, no, no! <laughs> you'll end up with 36562, roughly 36,562 deer in Pacific Grove. Let's do one more word problem. You have nine mice in your garage, but their population doubles every month. How many mice will you have this time next year? So, if we think about it, we have y is equal to a, 1 plus r to the t. Now, what, how do we know this is an exponential growth problem? Well, the key is, is that the population grows by a constant percentage. That's what makes exponential growth, so we can just do any, use this formula for a word problem. You start off with just 9. You have 1 plus, what's the growth rate? The growth rate here is that it doubles every month, so that's 1 plus 1 raised to the t. So that's y is equal to 9 times 2 to the t. There's your basic function. t is in months. It doubles every month. This time next year, between now and next year, that's 12 months. So that's y is equal 9 to 2 to the 12th. Let's see. 2 to the 12th might be a large number. Let's go. 2 raised to the 12th. That's 4,096. Wait a second. 9 times 4,096. You end up with 36,864 mice in your garage. If there's not room, you can always add on.